Hi everyone, welcome back to the Declarative Academy, your go-to channel for mastering Salesforce, one trailhead module at a time. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join our growing community of Salesforce trailblazers. Today, we're diving into another essential Salesforce trailhead module titled Create Validation Rules. Whether you're preparing for your Salesforce administrator credential or looking to enhance your Salesforce customization skills, this module is perfect for you. By the end of our session, you'll be able to create validation rules to enforce data integrity, customize validation rules to meet specific business requirements, ensure users enter necessary information based on defined criteria. All right, let's set the scene. At AW Computing, VP of support Noah Larkin wants to track which accounts are marked as having support plans each week. Specifically, he needs to ensure that all accounts with a support plan have an expiration date entered. On the other hand, Alison Wheeler, the VP of sales, wants to make sure that sales reps enter a close reason whenever an opportunity is marked as lost. Your mission, create validation rules that enforce these requirements ensuring data accuracy and completeness across the organization. Validation rules are powerful tools in Salesforce that allow you to specify criteria to prevent users from saving records with invalid or incomplete data. By defining these rules, you ensure that essential information is captured correctly, maintaining the integrity of your Salesforce environment. To follow along with this walkthrough, please launch your Salesforce Playground or choose your preferred hands-on org. Let's get started by creating an account validation rule that forces users to enter a support plan expiration date when the has support plan checkbox is selected. From the setup menu, click on object manager and select account. Then navigate to validation rules and click new. Enter support plan expiration date required as the rule name to clearly identify its purpose. Make sure to select the active checkbox so that the rule is enforced immediately. For the description, type support plan expiration date is required when the account is marked as having a support plan. In the error condition formula box, enter the following formula. Has support plan equals true and support plan expiration date is blank. This formula ensures the rule checks if the has support plan checkbox is selected and the support plan expiration date field is empty. Next, click Check Syntax to verify there are no errors in your formula. If everything is correct, move to the Error Message section. Enter the message. You must enter an expiration date when an account has a support plan. Set the error location to Field and select Support Plan Expiration Date from the drop-down menu. This ensures the error highlights the correct field when triggered. Finally, click Save to activate the validation rule. Now, when a user tries to save an account with the Has Support Plan checkbox selected, but without an expiration date, they'll see an error message reminding them to fill in the required information. Next, let's create an opportunity validation rule to ensure that a closed reason is entered whenever an opportunity is marked as closed lost. From the Setup menu, click on Object Manager and select Opportunity. Navigate to Validation Rules and click New. Enter close reason required when lost as the rule name. Make sure the active checkbox is selected. For the description, type a close reason is required when an opportunity is closed lost. In the error condition formula box, enter the following formula. Stage name equals closed lost and close reason is blank. This ensures the rule checks if the stage is set to closed lost and the close reason field is empty. Click Check Syntax to confirm there are no errors in the formula. Next, in the Error Message section, type You must enter a close reason when the opportunity is closed lost. Set the error location to Field and choose Close Reason from the drop-down menu. This ensures the error highlights the correct field when triggered. Finally, click Save to activate the validation rule. Now, when a user attempts to mark an opportunity as closed lost, Without selecting a close reason, they'll see an error message prompting them to provide the required information. By creating these validation rules, you've addressed Noah's and Allison's requests, 
ensuring that critical information is always captured accurately. This not only enhances data integrity, but also streamlines workflows for the support and sales teams, enabling them to work more efficiently and effectively. Once you have completed these steps, return to the Trailhead module and click Verify Step to earn your points while we wrap things up. Let's recap the key takeaways. You learned how to create validation rules to enforce data integrity. You customized validation rules to meet specific business requirements, such as requiring a support plan expiration date and a close reason. You ensured that users provide necessary information, enhancing data accuracy and workflow efficiency. If you found this walkthrough helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the Declarative Academy for more Salesforce tutorials. Have questions or tips of your own? Drop them in the comments below. We love hearing from you. Thanks for watching and keep trailblazing. Until next time, stay declarative.